we go to layers, where's layers? Where for art layer layers? There you go. We need to lock that layer now, make a new layer, and label this dimensions and another one labels. So let's label our um, our views. Uh, go to the text tool. Always capitalize. Let's just select those. Command X and just unselect. Otherwise, it'll paste back into that same thing again. Command V and then Command X. What we want to do is bring our guides back, Command colon, and just bring in, there we go. Um, I think that needs to go a little higher up. Make sure they're centered. about right good we've got our labels in lock the labels away now we need to work with dimensions we could get rid of the bulk of those guidelines of course the way you simply would do it is go to view guides um, clear once you've selected them oh no the reason why that's not been highlighted is because that layer on which they um, been used is locked so you would have to unlock it so if we went back to artwork layer view guides clear guides and we can bring back some important ones we need for dimensioning but at least all that other stuff is gone and it's less cluttered let's lock that again back to dimensions and let's put in the key most important uh, dimensions okay this will make life easier when we're creating lines with arrows and the like there we go and um, let's see what else could we have height Cone. I'm going to have all these heights in fact, but um, it, we won't need to worry about widths because we're giving diameters of um, cylinders um, and the widths of the spherical forms we don't have to worry about, but again, they'll be given here. So let's zoom in and um, let's dimension. Oh, we're missing a couple of lines. Let's go to there and the height of the cylinder. There we go. Okay, so let us begin. Let's zoom in a bit. And um, first, we're going to need. Uh, some projection lines and holding the um, the shift key you're a couple of millimeters away from the actual object and we're just going to drag across and there's no color no fill so there's nothing done there we go now we can see it let's just drag in another guide this time this will help us with just how far our vertical dimensioning line will go. Oh. For now, let's put it out, out this far. Um, and let's go back to the line tool. And Right, so we've got our main height. Um, so we can now put our 
line in. Remembering that it's not as heavy as the actual drawing, so that make it uh, fainter. So it's 0.7, I oh know, maybe 0.5. You can't quite see it, of course, because I've um, got the, the guides on. Okay, let's proceed. So it's. We might stop all the lines right along the ex, the um, aligned with the um, with the bottom cylinder. Okay. So I only need one line, Command C, Command F, then I'm going to move that line into position. So we've got all our main dimensions. Now this is important that you do this accurately. You start your actual dimension line touching the projection line holding the shift key which will give you a 90 degree line and come down to your hit when it says path which is the next line right that's important because that is the dimension and there it is 36.29 so 36 let's say and we'll do this um, for each of these spaces you don't have to do it um, scratch each time just go command C command F then scroll down, did I say scroll down? <laughs> Move it down, put it, align it, come to the bottom, and holding the shift key means you won't deviate and make a crooked line. You must hold the shift key though, otherwise, you will make that line crooked. And um, let's make that a, a little taller. There we go. Good. Now, um, we know that this is the same, so Command C, Command F, and move it into position. And we don't want it to be touching, it has to be 2 mil off the object. That's about right, and hold the shift key, drag it until it hits. There we go. Now, um, so using select each line, read what it says here in the dialog box. It says 36. So type tool. Um, we're going to put 36 make sure you don't put the actual type tool on the line if you do it will type along the line uh, for example uh, let me see let me select this line that line is 23 mil and if I was to click off the line I'm on the type tool look what happens oh no 23 it's wrong do not do that command Z all right uh, so don't go near the line please and we'll align these properly at the end as well so 23 and what is that line 5 okay so oops see how it's confused I'm going to put it out here 5 and then I'm going to drag it um, across now we'll convert all of these dimension lines uh, into uh, add sorry add arrow heads to the dimension lines in a moment but before I do anything else um, the default setting for the size of the type is 12 um, so just use that 12 seems to be perfectly fine for this purpose Alrighty, so now what we need is to create arrows and um, 
we need to go to the line tool and select arrows in both directions. I prefer using uh, number five. Um, I think it's the right size for it. And end. Number five. And let's just click off to see what it looks like. Yep. They should be touching the projection lines. We now have um, the dimensioning of heights. The only thing we're left with now is widths, um, but we don't have to worry about widths or depths because we have diameters. So before we do the diameters, we need to create our uh, sectional view, the direction in which the sectional view is seen. So uh, let's go back to our guides, unlock, and that way we can find the center. Beautiful. Let's place that as well. That looks right. Lock that again. Okay, so what we're going to do is take a line and take it for a walk on the dimension layer. Take it for a walk from one side, hold the shift key to the other side. Um, this will be, uh, we'll do it at one, and it's a dashed line. Then we need to create thick lines. Um, on the edge, and these are not dashed and in fact they are going to be heavy so let's, we're going to go to three point okay. so we need to take that command C command V and just put that into position here and okay I'm just going to turn off the, um, the guides again Command colon, and um, we need to create little arrows, a straight line at one, and it needs to have an arrow at the top. Okay, um, and then we have to label this as A. Now remember that we, <laughs> we, we had the side view. Well, of course that's incorrect because it's not just the side view. It actually happens to be this sectional view. A to A. So let's relabel that. Back to labels, unlock it. Section A A. And let's center that. Beautiful. Okay. Now that reads correct. Okay. Now, all that is left uh, for dimensioning is the diameters. So um, this should be fairly straightforward. So let's start with the smallest one. Uh, let's invert that and um, make sure we have that as one. Yep. And just move it a little bit. There we go. Let's zoom in. Z is your shortcut to the magnifying glass and that will zoom you in. Okay, so um, make that finer, 0.5. That's pretty good. 
we need, now we need one for here so we can copy that command C F So um, we need to unlock again, take a reading, go to the transform tool, and it's, let's say 53. There it is, 52.99999, 53 it is. Uh, type tool, and again, if you go on the line, it'd be no good. Um, that's it. I think we've got all the dimensions except we're missing the arrows on all of these lines. So I think we've finished our dimensioning. <clears throat> so we need to create a line that indicates the center of. Um, hang on, cancel that. All right, let's drag a line through starting from the outside of the object going all the way through to the outside and um, we can now get rid of the guide so we can see what we've done and um, okay let's just zoom in a bit now this line here the most important thing here is really we've got to make it into a chain line so it's dashed Yep, yeah, that's better. Okay, so we have uh, long dash, short dash, long dash, short dash. Good. So it's 12, 6, 4, 6.